Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alpha 65. Wanted to bring you a quick video on uh, my paint job on my 65 Creedmoor. And wanted to kind of give you guys a couple of tips. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is a Savage 65 Creedmoor. Uh, for those of you out there trying to um, do a paint job or whatever, I'm not trying to sell anything or anything like that, but you can order stencils online from multiple different places. This is technically my first professional job, so to speak, or my second paint testing. I uh, did this with some stencils from freedomstencils.com. The process is super easy. I don't have the video footage, but I will put the um, process in this video so that you can kind of follow through it. Yes, the gun is unloaded. Not that it matters. Anybody with common sense wouldn't do that. All right, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to apply a matte black finish or either the tan or the green or the brown whatever you want to do this is a four color paint job so you're going to take your uh, rifle and your action and everything completely out and all you have stock you want to tape everything off all up in here where your trigger guard your trigger mechanism is all down inside of here so that you're not messing up any of the um, you know the bedding or anything like that and the four colors that I used if we can get this in here okay khaki this is Krylon camouflage paint I picked this up at Lowe's you have a um, flat black I don't know if you can read that forgive me if you can't this is a this was not the camouflage but it was a flat black um, camouflage brown Krylon and the camouflage green or olive so what I did was is I already had this gun painted before um, it didn't turn out very well I did it with some homemade stencils so what I did was is I came in and applied a black over it the flat black to kind of bring it back to the original color of the gun from when I uh, first bought the gun. So I went in and I painted the whole stock. I put two coats of each of these on here. I did a medium to light coat or light to medium coat and then I finished it off with a second coat. And <clears throat> once that dried after about 15 or 20 minutes, I would apply my stencils just as you see, I had a stencil here for the black, here, here, you know, just somewhere between 20, 25% of the gun. <clears throat> then what I did was I came in with the khaki, sprayed the whole gun, two coats, and I repeated that process. Once it dried after about 15 or 20 minutes on the second coat, I come in and put stencils in here where you see the tan. I came back in with the brown and I did a two coat on that as well. Let it dry, put my final stencils on here, down through here. And you can let this overlap And this is how you get your multi colors inside each other is you allow it to um, overlap each other periodically. 
once that's done, once you put your final stencils on, um, I will take note is that these last stencils that I put on over the brown, these were medium to large stencils and I tried to apply at least 50% or right at 50% so that on my final coat of green I had a lot of that. So just keep that in mind. And then as I said I put um, my final coat of green. Now some people will go in with a olive or a light green and a you know camouflage brown or and and or a second brown a lighter brown so that basically you have a four or um, I'm sorry a five color a five color six color uh, paint job I only wanted to do four I wanted to keep it simple I want it to look good and I wanted to keep it basic you know so there was not too much um, it, you know I, th I feel like if you had a went with a six color you would either have to shorten the stencils or you would have had too much going on and it would have just been somewhat cluster so um so yeah guys this is my paint job i'm sorry this wasn't a very thorough um thorough video but honestly just your four basic colors, green, brown, black, and tan. Um, you want them all to be flat and preferably the camouflage. I couldn't find the black, but it was a flat black. But I got this stuff at Lowe's. And again, I ordered these stencils. All right, so these are the actual stencil sheets that I used. Hopefully you guys got an idea. I have laid these out in order one through six and six being the biggest five and six being the biggest then three and four are somewhat the medium size and then you have sheets one and two and i almost based off these two patterns here this one and this one or this one and this one it looks like the sheets are somewhat the same because these this symbol here and this symbol here is pretty much the same. I think they just orient, uh, organize them a little different on the sheets. So anyway, guys, these are the uh, stencils from freedomstencils.com. You can order these. They are a little pain in the neck to play with or, you know, get out because they stretch and they bend. And you have to be really careful. I actually messed a few of them up <clears throat> trying to get them, um, you know, off and onto the gun. So just take your time and be very, very careful with them because they will stick to each other. So yeah, guys, um, just figured I'd let you see the stencils that I used. 